guys, it is what it is. It is February 11th, and tomorrow is the day that I get induced, and I will be officially 40 weeks. So if you're wondering why I'm getting induced, I'm getting induced because, like I said, like it's my choice. I know other people are like, why would you get induced? Just let baby come when she comes. But listen, my body is completely tired. Like, I'm in pain, like a lot of pain. And a couple of weeks ago, at my last appointment, my doctor said I was measuring small. Not my doctor, the brand new doctor to the office said I was measuring small. So, like, you know, she was trying to induce me earlier. But I said, you're going to have to wait till 40 weeks. You know what I mean? Um, but I just feel like I might as well. I do have five other children, and I want them to be in a safe place for when I do deliver. You know, and I don't want that on my mind and on my conscience. Like, oh, where are my kids at? Who's going to get them off the bus to stand the third? I need to make sure my kids are safe and sound. So that's why. Um, but yes, tomorrow is my official due date. And baby girl will be born. And all my deliveries are very, very fast. All my deliveries happen fast. Um, but I know induction is completely different. So I just hope and pray that it just goes smoothly. I am very, I'm actually very nervous. I'm excited, but I'm nervous and scared at the same time. Um, so I just been resting for these past two days, you know, and tonight I'm just gonna try to get a good night rest and all that. I do have a lot of pelvic pressure. Like as lately, I've been getting a lot of pelvic pressure. Like I can feel her head turning even when, like, I stand up when I lay down, like, the pillow pressure is crazy where I feel like my water is going to just break. And um, it's very uncomfortable. But it's just, like, I get contractions here and there, and they'll go away. And, you know, like, we just be Braxton and Hicks and all that. Um, but, yeah, I just hope that tomorrow goes well and goes smoothly. So... After I had a baby, my kids will come to the hospital to see me. I'm going to try to get as much rest as I can tonight. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm so freaking nervous about this process. Like, I don't know how it's going to go. I heard a lot of good stories, a lot of bad stories. I have a friend, a couple friends who both induced. And they had multiple children and they go fast for them. I know it's going to be painful regardless, you know, if induced or not, but wish me luck. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to try to see if I can record and record the best that I can, even if I got to hide the camera. But, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys. So, it is February 12th, my official due date. I am 40 weeks. And the last couple appointments, like I had told you guys, haven't been so great because I have been seeing a brand new doctor. But she told me that I will not make it to 40 weeks. And guess what? I made it to 40 weeks. But I'm having no signs of labor anytime soon. But I always go over my due date. But today is the day that baby girl is going to be born. So I go in for induction at 8 p.m. tonight. I'm nervous. I'm still nervous, you guys. I've been watching videos, doing research, and everybody that's supposed to, like, my friends have been telling me, like, you know, like, their epidural, like, not the epidural, sorry, but their deliveries with um, induction have been fast. There's, they're just like, this is your sixth baby. It's going to go by fast, you know. It may not be fast to you, but it's going to go by fast because you have had so many pregnancies. Um, so, fingers crossed that it does. Yeah, I am ready to not be pregnant no more and just hold my baby girl on my chest and just give her all the love in the world. And I'm gonna miss my babies at home though. Like, I really am. They will be visiting me in the hospital, on the school, doing what they need to do. And I can also tell that my kids, that all of them are kind of nervous, like, in a way. Like, you can tell. Like, my seven-year-old, like, he's, like, very happy and excited. He cannot wait for his sister to come. My baby girl, my five-year-old, you can tell, like, she's, like, a little bit, like, sad because mom won't be here for a couple of days. 
but you can also tell like she's a little bit worried like it's not gonna be okay you know my 14 year old he's good you know he prayed for me and everything um in my learning year old you can also tell like he's kind of like worried about me like you know he just wants mom to be okay and i definitely get all the mixed emotions inside the house i definitely do but mommy is going to be okay and i'm going to get through this and i'm coming back home to my babies okay i'm gonna have six beautiful babies and they're all babies regardless i don't care how old they get i told them that i am excited and i'm so glad that it it's going to happen at night time so I can get time that I can eat. <laughs> all that I can eat because once I get to the hospital, I already know it's only ice chips in water. And probably like the Italian ices, that's what they give me. So, um, my symptoms today, I haven't been really hungry today, I'm not going to lie. But I am making myself eat because, like, I need to eat before I go to the hospital. And also for me, like, I can tell that labor will come soon when I don't want to eat. Like, for some reason, I don't want to eat. My body just tells me not to eat anything. And then I go into labor like a couple hours later or like the next day. So, yeah. Uh, I have been having like Braxton Hicks here and there today, but not as much. Um, I did some yoga today. And, um... I have been getting a lot of leg pain today. Like, a lot of leg pain. Couldn't really sleep last night. Because I, mean, I was getting, like, sharp leg pain all night long. And during the day, I have been getting leg pain today as well. So, it is currently about 1 o'clock. So, my babies will be home soon. Been doing homework with them. Spent time with them. You know, they'll be eating dinner. they getting ready for bed. And then mom and dad will be heading out the door to welcome baby girl. Like I said, I hope that it goes smoothly. Hopefully I can record as much as I can for you guys um, while, I'm in, while I am in the hospital. You know? But yeah, just wish me luck, you guys. I'm rubbing my belly because I feel like it's like, um, it is getting tight. But I feel like it's like gas. But it could be more than that. And I am getting a lot of pressure today. Like, a lot of pressure. I feel like my belly dropped a little bit. I'm going to insert some pictures, but I'm going to try to show you guys. Like, I feel like... This is me at 40 weeks. My belly isn't as big as everybody else's. I'm going to be small, petite. But I feel like it dropped a little bit. Right. Unless you think I dropped this a little bit. I could breathe more so I feel like I could drop. So I'm just gonna rest. Um and eat some more lunch, eat my little snacks, and then yeah, I'll be vlogging once I get to the hospital. Yeah. So I'll see you guys soon and just pray for me. So you guys, I've been having contractions. And I didn't even know it. I've been moving around so much with my kids that I didn't even know that I'm having contractions. Like, so it is nine o'clock now. They didn't stop me on nothing. I just are here. So we're gonna see when they check me. I'm so scared, but I'm excited at the same time. And baby girl's moving so much, so yeah. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, baby girl's here by the time that happens.
hiding from me. you guys so i couldn't really record a lot happened in that time um so basically just i'm gonna give you guys a little story time okay obviously i'm in the hospital baby girl is here she is born she came on her due date um so i told you guys at 8 p.m i was scheduled to be induced and we got here at 8 p.m. Like around 8, 8, 10, we got here. Um, we had to register. We got upstairs around 8, 30 p.m. Um, they took my vitals and everything. Everything was fine. So they started to like just monitor, you know, what they do. They monitor contractions and the baby's like movement and heartbeat. So that's what they did. Um before they were going to see what they can do to induce the labor. So, funny thing is, you guys, I was in labor all day. Half the day I was in labor. Like, I started feeling like little sharp pains and pressure, like around, I will say, maybe 1 p.m., um, but I was moving so much around with my two-year-old, moving around with him, doing learning. He was doing, like, little kid, you know, yoga. He was doing yoga with me for prenatal and all that. So when I was feeling pressure and, I guess, having contractions, I didn't know at all. Like, I didn't know because they didn't really hurt. Um, so like I said, backtrack all that. We were at the hospital. Um checking my vitals so the nurse comes back in at 9 30 so you know do the medical history and ask questions and all that and she's like you didn't feel those contractions that you were having because we're monitoring and you're having you just had a big contraction and i'm just like no because you know me and my partner we were talking you know he's making me laugh and all that so i was fine i wasn't feeling the contractions um that i was having and so I looked at the paper and I'm just like, I really am contracting. And I didn't know it. 
So then she told me that, you know, they're going to keep monitoring. And then they're going to tell me, you know, what they're going to do to proceed with inducing me to speed, like, the labor up, you know. Um, so she comes back in at 10. And, you know, the contractors are actually hitting, like, they're getting semi-close, like, five minutes apart now. But they're very heavy. And I'm not, I wasn't on no Pitocin or nothing like that. So since I was progression, progressing with my contractions, the nurse on call decided that she wasn't going to do Pitocin or do anything to induce the labor because my body was already doing the work. Like, my body already went into labor. Natural just went on itself. So I didn't need to be induced, you guys, which is great. And I'm very happy about that. Um, but the contractions was hitting. They was hitting back to back to back. Um, so they did do the cerebral check. <laughs> that hurt more than the contractions. Not even gonna lie. So when she actually checked me at ten, she was like, you know, um, she was like, okay. She's like, well, it's good news. You are. Eight centimeters dilated, and you're 100. percent You know, each face, your cervix is thinned out. She could feel the water, you know. Um, but you know, baby girl's head was moving around like she was moving around, playing around. So I'm just like, you know, me and my husband's looking at me like, you're already that far dilated. Like I didn't know I was that far dilated. Um. So you know, then. When she left out the room, you know, she told me she'd be back in to check on me and all that. Um, and she wasn't going to pop, break my water. She was just going to let it break itself. Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you. An hour later, actually a couple minutes later, like 10.30 she checked me. She came back in at 11. She came to check me again. Like the contractions were like, the contractions were hitting closer and closer back to back like where it was like crazy where I was about to start crying but you know like I kept it together and then she checks me again you know it hurts even more now that she's checking me again because I'm having contractions back to back like it hurts I'm having like back pain leg pain and like the contractions just hitting and I feel so much pressure and um yeah she's like like, her eyes just pop, and she's just like, you're nine and a half centimeters dilated now. Like, she's like, I just left the room. I just came back in to check you again. You're dilating very fast. Um, So she just got everything ready because she just knew it was about to happen. Um, she left the room for, like, a little bit. 11.30, she came back in. And, you know, I'm just telling her, like, I'm feeling a lot of pressure. Like, it's a lot. And my husband can see that it's a lot because, like, I'm becoming more tired and weary. And I'm holding on to the side of the bed, like, trying to really breathe out. Like, oh, my God, like, I feel like I'm about to pop. And so, like, she checks me again. And I'm 10 centimeters. I'm fully dilated. Um, It's like she's pushing down. And she's like, when you have to push... Just push. I'm right here. So, you know, I push. You know, like, I'm trying, like, my hardest, like, but it's just, like, the pain of the contractions was just, like, really just hitting, hitting, hitting. Um, so I just kept pushing. Then my water breaks. Um, and then she's like, okay. And then she's like, take, breathe, just relax. So I got a little minute to relax after my water broke. But then, you know, it's time to keep pushing. I kept on pushing. I pushed about, I would say, four, five times because she wasn't all the way down there. My belly did not drop all the way yet. Um, so I pushed like four to five times. And she was out. And born. Like, it was like the last push when I felt her head. I felt it, okay, that push was like the push, like, 
and everybody you know was just like so amazed like that I delivered that fast that I was scheduled to be induced but I didn't need to be induced my body just did the work for me and she just came naturally so she was going to come on her duty anyway um, she was born at 11 40 49 p.m. Yeah. And I'm so happy. I feel so much better and relieved. And she's just so precious and so cute. It's like, oh my God. It was worth it. It was worth it in the end. I, I can be pregnant no more, but I'm glad that she came in 40 weeks on her own. You know, like I didn't even have to be induced, which is wonderful. Um, so yeah, so you guys will be able to see my kids meet her for the first time. They will be here later because it is currently three. It's three in the morning. I haven't slept. I've been up since six thirty. Like six thirty, I've been up. Um, I was having leg cramps, like bad leg cramps. So I was getting up all morning this morning, yesterday morning. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get some sleeping. And hopefully tomorrow I can take a nice little shower. And yeah. You guys will see the girl soon. You know. I am exclusive, exclusively breastfeeding her. I'm just so excited that she's here. Like I'm kind of upset that you guys didn't get to, I didn't get to record. But like I had to put the camera down. But you can hear her cry. Her first cry. So of course you guys are gonna hear that. But um or you heard that already, depending on where I put this clip in the video. So I told you they had pads and all that in my hospital. And then they also gave you this. This is so cute. The towel, the shower, which I'll be taking tomorrow. Okay. The gowns and all that. Yeah. And then they look like I was pregnant. Okay. Let's see what the baby, but let's see what the bumps look like. It's more belly that I had after a baby than any of my kids. I never had a belly after my kids. And this little area. This is like a little closet. It's a bed. TV. Baby girl. Mommy's bed. I'm about to go to bed. Oh, it is so good. Me too. Yeah. I did get rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got right here. Again, change the diaper. I'm just exhausted. Like, I was basically up for like almost 24 hours. Snowing outside. It's like a whole snowstorm outside. And my kids will be coming to see me on nine nine thirty. Um, how to get more labs done? Just to make sure everything's okay. As you guys know, I am in New York. I would tell me. Shower because I don't want to wash up a little bit because I wash my body. It's just me in the time I have to wash up. 
coming outside to the um, hospital. I'm washing it. I think it's just like this. I wash my body a little bit. And, I don't have no stitches or no tears. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this blood in it and just pat my hair slowly. Rock it out. Yeah. Yeah. She's still sleeping. So, I'm going to take it with another hour now. I'll take a nap while my gift later. Like, mm -hmm. so he's gonna get me food. So, like lunch time. I said he'll give me like food for lunch. I'll eat breakfast here or whatever. Okay. Now I'm gonna ask him like to just get me some for Duncan. I got his own lemon drinks with Duncan. Or a drink from Starbucks that he got. Either Duncan or the Starbucks drinks he got me. Like, I am not know what I believe. I could go for a Starbucks drink though. I can literally just do this around. I guess my result was this stuff. Yeah. Just do my camping. I'm gonna give this a shrink in. And like, you know. You know, the nurse will just keep coming in and check up on me. I think I'll keep coming every hour, right? Back, so like, let me, like, get sleep. And, and you know, they just keep talking about, like, how beautiful. My label was, you know, it was such like a beautiful thing. And I love the fact like they like him. Like they can go say, oh my but the fact that they really like, you know, this is beautiful but you know, like it just makes me happy. You know. You know the the ending part of the verse, pushing and looking up at my husband and just holding his hand. You see it in my eyes. I was about to start crying. I was about to just start crying the last push. I was about to just start crying. I said I had this at like hours. I thought it was up at 6 40 a.m. And then I was up all day. I didn't take taking a nap or anything throughout the day, so I was ex literally to make it end, it felt like I was exhausted, I was tired. I was trying to hold my strength up, but I was just like, I was just getting tired, you know. Um, I didn't have no hemorrhaging, thank God. Yeah. I took a little nap, even though I'm like wide awake right now. I'm about to order breakfast, it's 7. 7.38 and order breakfast.